Okay, get the obvious disclaimer out of here. I'm not a Nazi. Never have, never will support the Nazis uh, in any way, shape, or form. And the only reason why I got this figure is because the historical uh, significance of it. And it's a collectible. They don't make them, they don't mass produce them, very rare. Uh, the only company or anybody who's ballsy enough to make, you know, Hitler is of course a Chinese company, so it's kind of hard to come by. And <clears throat> he, when you think about it, he's really no different than other uh, madmen of history. Genghis Khan, Chairman Mao, you know, Attila the Hun, Napoleon. They killed just as many, if not more, people as this guy did. The biggest difference is that he's relatively uh, close to our time, so there are still people living now who suffered under him, and that's why it's still very touchy-touchy, uh, right? But uh, not glorifying him, not putting him on a pedestal in any way. Just got the figures for its uh, collectability. Okay, now that I got that out of the way, ahoy hoy, Carlo here with new figures, new unboxing of, of course, Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler. This figure is uh, made by T Toys, T I T Toys, Tit Toys, Chinese company. Ask me why they're called Tit Toys? Don't know, but it's easy to remember. There are other figures of him, uh, most notably made by. Uh, 3R, uh, they're the other company who made a really good head sculpt and figure. And let me pull up a picture. Here's the box of the 3R version. All right. Yeah, this came out a few years ago, a while ago, and uh, you can find it on the aftermarket for you know crazy prices. And here's a picture of that figure. Pretty good, very good quality, very good sculpting. So they have the older version there, and here's the younger version. Just like these guys. These guys basically followed suit and created an older and younger version. That's why I have uh, two boxes there. And Also, no, I, I bought two boxes, or two separate figures, the two figures, because I'm going to keep one, and I'm going to give one to someone else. So don't think I'm <laughs> keeping them both. Oh, another company made uh, a Hitler figure uh, made by these guys. Plastic something or other. Drastic plastic leaders of World War II series one and this figure is actually pretty shitty You can see very plastic looking very shiny very toy like Whereas the three R and uh, the tip toys is matte is a matte skull So it's not as shiny and it looks a little more realistic and So here's promo pictures of these toys and I'll when you look at these pictures here His likeness and the shininess comes out or his likeness does not come out and the plastic toy like does come out so uh, don't let the promo images uh, be a good indication or good um, <clears throat> what do you call it uh, don't let that fool you the actual sculpt the actual figure in hand is a lot better than what it looks like in the pictures here and I'll show you the comparisons uh, between the see there the likeness on this guy is like whatever it looks like just some angry dude with a Hitler mustache or a toothless mustache which is this figure here. Definitely looks better in real life, so don't let these promo promo pics uh, fool ya. Anyway, here's the brown shipper. Basic shipper. One six scale action figure, WW2, German head of state, Adolf Hitler. The two versions, TT03 aged middle, TT04 aged the. Basically younger, older. Pre-war, during war. Aged the English. What are you gonna do, right? And the only way to know what you got is by the check mark in the box. So that's kind of <laughs> kind of easy to miss. Here's the actual box. Heavyweight, good quality box. Basically a shoe box again. So on the front you got a picture of the actual Hitler. Same deal. You know, head of state, Adolf Hitler, Adolf Hitler, TIT toy, toy model, T, T whatever. And again. Check mark. The only way to know what you got is by the check mark. So this is the uh, the older guy, the aged, and the one that I already opened is the younger one. So there you go, aged middle, the younger one. Him. They're identical. Well, when I say identical, the layout, uh, what you get, the accessories, uh, and whatnot, 
basically what is in this is the same format as this and I'll do the unboxing of this and then make the comparisons with you to the two after all right nothing to the box foam insert covering the main guy in the figure and there he is so you got hands, you got the figure, head's already attached, and his hat there. So it's dual layered, one on top of the other. So the bottom layer, you got his green felt long coat with the green lining snap buttons, little gold buttons there, real pockets, nice quality, very soft. You know what they always say, despite uh, the Nazi's nature, they had one hell of a fashion sense, and I gotta admit, they <laughs> their clothing was pretty damn good. Unfortunate though, eh? So you got his display stand, Little accessories for his uh, coat or uniform. So, like I said, the layout is uh, identical between the two. A little baggie holding his pins and uh, buttons. Let me show those to you right now if I can get it out. All right, so. Oh, missing one. Did it fall? Oh, well, there it is. So you got the cross here, and that's a pin. So is this one. Basically, you punch, puncture his uh, coat or his blazer and fold it over on the inside. And his shoulder, little eagle here, as well as his Nazi pin there. Is our stickers? They're sticker packs. So peel off the white and just stick it on his uh, uniform. And they've already, <clears throat> I've already done it obviously to this one, and so far they haven't fallen off or peeled off. So the sticker is pretty good. Why they're not already pre-attached? Who knows? I guess they want us to do something with the figures. And then in this one, this other baggie. Got his tie. Now his tie isn't tied like a tie, it's actually knotted. So you can't pull on the one end to, you know, lengthen it or shorten it. It's just one size fits all. So when I had to put it on that figure, I had to loosen it in order to get his head through the, the hole, the opening here. And that one has a little sticker already on there. See, they have it already on the tie, but not the, the uniform weirdos. Here's his Nazi armband. Velcro. Very simple. And gloves. Gray gloves. Nothing much. to the figure so you got a set of hands open hand I guess you can put guns in them or a gun left and right got two fists left and right unfortunately they don't have a pointy finger one which the 3R version does got his ginormous hat with again his little pins and whatever already attached to it. Ginormous hat. And the figure itself. So as with all six scale figures, super articulation, you know, ankle, ball joint, knee is double jointed. That's good. Right? Ball joint on his uh level 
twist around. We got the torso, elbow, wrist, and of course the head. Oh, here's the head joint. Oh, came out. There you go. Oh, it's pretty loose. Oh, I don't like that. So this guy's the older one, and that's the younger one. So let me show you the comparison of the uh, the promo picture to the actual head sculpt. Sculpt. Enunciate. So as you can see, the actual head. is much better in person than it is in the promo picture. And on the, the figure itself, his eyes, those black eyes, looks like doll's eyes, dead. So they may have changed it up a bit or during production they may have you know, made some improvements, but it definitely looks better in person than it does here. So the differences between the heads, let me just grab this guy. So as you can see, he's a little more receded on there because he's older. At first when I got opened them up, I thought this was the older sculpt because he had baggier eyes. But upon, you know, actually looking, yeah, I guess he could be a little older. got more chubbiness he's got that double chin going for compared to this guy All right so there you go there's the differences between the, the old and new head same same baggy angry killer eyes Mustaches, I guess, are the same. His scowl is the same. Slightly different coloring, I guess. This one's a little more fleshy. But yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking that. That came out too loose. I'm gonna have to check on that after. So his, this one comes with his green blazer, black dress pants, and black. Uh, shoes with black socks snap buttons velcro shirt velcro pants with no belt pockets are pockets are real I'm going to take some time and I'll put the, actually, you know what, no, put him down first and show you the other one. <clears throat> so older guy, here's the younger one. So younger one has an entirely different uniform. Same accessories though. So see, stick, st sticker on, puncture through, and then I folded it back. Sticker on, there's the Velcro armband. His flappy pockets. Same deal, no no uh no belt, velcro shirt, velcro pants. He's got these little horse riding flappy pants and knee high boots. He comes with the, the sash here and the leather belt. Now when you're putting on the belt and the sash, remember to put the sash through first before doing up the belt. I forgot that I had to do that, so I had to undo him and redo it again. And these pockets are real too. So there you go. Not much to it. Now, 
this version comes with white gloves and white socks. I don't know why the hell they gave white socks for. <laughs> Two sets of hands in addition to the ones that are already on him. So you got the gun hands, you got one fist, and one another gun hand. I wanted a pointy hand. And here's his big hat. Same, same hat as the other one, just different color. One's greener than the other. And here's his long coat. This one's pleather compared to the felt. Red liner, double press, breasted again, snap buttons. Real pockets. Pretty much the same design. So there. Old versus young. All done. Fully clothed, fully accessorized. I put the, the overcoat on this, the older one, and left that guy without it. So, same placement. The pins and the sticker is uh, both. Both of them have had to Google actual images of Hitler to see to get accuracy. Good quality build, good head sculpting. If you don't want to shell out, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars on the Dragon 3 R1s, and if you don't want to spend cheapo money on the cheapo ugly one, this is a good uh, good choice, good alternative. Tip Toys TT003, TT04. Chinese, German, World War II head of state. of one of the worst people humans ever to live. Of course, he ain't got nothing Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan killed a hell of a lot more people. Mao Zedong killed all his own people in a you know, genocide and all that. So, oh, here you go. Here's my damn toys Nazi zombie German guy. Put them beside each other. Now, man, if they would make a zombie Hitler, God, that would be a perfect compliment to those two. I wish they would. And then on the end here, Charlie Chaplin. Giving one of those, what the fuck, why, assholes, why am I here? Why are they over there? Damn it. Now, Charlie Chaplin popularized the toothbrush mustache first. You know, he had it first, he made it funny. And then this guy had to come along and uh, ruin it for him. So now no one could wear it ever again. Well, people go wear it, it's just people will give you good weird looks. So there you have it. Nothing else to say, but, you know, good figure, recommended, not for who he is, but for what it is.